Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the rain coming down hard enough to produce some isolated street flooding. This viewer video coming in from uh, Providence near Route 6 and Route 10 around 4 o'clock uh, this afternoon. And uh, the, some of the storm drains having a hard time drinking it all up. An uh, inch of rain in about a 30-minute period. And as the heavy storms and showers move by, just enough partial sun to finish off with a, a rainbow taken in our studios here uh, in East Providence. Of course, the sunshine today was brief, partial, and you know just limited. Of course, the clouds went out once again. A bit of a lull right now as far as widespread rain, though we are tracking still some isolated showers and brief downpours. We go to live pinpoint out the 12 radar and while you don't see as much green on the screen as we did say an uh, hour and a half ago. Still these little elements of showers and flecks of yellow indicating uh, some downpours take you out towards uh, in between uh, uh, Tiverton and out towards uh, southeastern Massachusetts getting uh, some of this uh, uh, smaller shower activity occurring right now with a brief downpour. Perhaps even the clap of thunder can't rule that out. Take you out towards uh, this is around Exeter in Washington County seeing that uh, shower on the Kent County Washington County border and then just over the border in southeastern Connecticut now, uh, say north of Westerly and near Ashaway, another shower and a heavy downpour getting ready to work essentially from uh, south to north. So uh, again, you need to keep the umbrella nearby. As we take a look at that heavier storm that approached the Providence area this afternoon, the reduced visibility, the fog and the very heavy rain, and that was the storm that caused some of that isolated street flooding. We're still cloudy and humid in Providence right now. The temperature at 62 on a northeast breeze at 12 and very high humidity at 93%. That high humidity fueling the fog and some of the heavier downpours. Temperatures now in most areas are in the 60s, though Smithfield is down to 59 and Taunton at 55 degrees. Westerly is quite mild coming in now at 63. Lightning tracker, it's turned on and we don't see any lightning strikes within the last hour, though the chance is there of additional uh, thunderstorms this evening, though at this time we think more uh, uh, scattered in nature. Future cast starts at 8 o'clock this evening showing the low clouds and the fog and perhaps a random shower or thunderstorm taking into tomorrow morning at around 8 o'clock. It shows the low clouds and the fog locally dense and then watch in the afternoon. This is noontime. These blips of green popping up indicating isolated brief showers and thunderstorms but also take note in between them little rays of partial sunshine and that may be enough to get temperatures up to about 65 to 70 but once again much like today the risk of scattered showers and thunder. Watch for locally dense fog tonight. Some random showers and a rumble of thunder again can't be ruled out. Tomorrow morning some locally dense fog, so giving it the yellow caution light, 58 to 63. Sunshine tomorrow would be limited and partial, but the chance is there. But also with that will come mild temperatures, mid and upper 60s, perhaps near 70, and scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up once again. Not all locations will see them. Boaters, you've got a southeast breeze at light speeds at 5 to 10. The coastline, low 60s, where the fog may hang around all day long, but inland areas, some partial brightening, temperatures near 70, with those random showers and thunderstorms popping up and again with the high humidity there may be some brief heavy downpours. What about the weekend? It still looks essentially dry. Partly sunny on Saturday at 70. Mostly sunny dry and comfortable on Sunday 65 to 70. Some scattered showers return on Monday and Tuesday though not a washout. Nice to see the 70s uh, for high temperatures on that seven day outlook unlike the cool weather we've had of sure late. Is, yeah, yeah still keep an eye to the sky though next several hours for at least some random showers and watch out locally dense fog. Okay. More coverage you can count on coming up later.